maps now and the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources has issued a preliminary statement on the alleged will by former Forestry Commission CEO Sir John in which it's purported to have willed some land to his relatives and my colleague Johnny Hughes joins me in studio to take us through the statements there. Now Johnny, uh, what are the highlights of this statement? Well in fact, so this would be a sequel to the initial statement that had come from the Ministry on the 22nd of May. Uh, following the expose by the Fourth Estate uh, News House. They had indicated that Sir John, in a supposed will, had given some portions of the Achimota Forest and the Ramsar site at Sakumono to some relatives of his, some which he also jointly owned with uh, a certain Charles Owusu and all. The ministry had given indication that they would inquire and investigate and then bring out the findings. So they have done that. <clears throat> now, the statement which was issued today uh, suggests that one, Sir John doesn't own any lands there, and there are no records at the Lands Commission to prove same. Two, because of the gravity of the matter, the Minister, Honorable Abdul uh, Abu Jinapur, who is also a member of Parliament for Damongo, has declared those lands void, and he says that they remain public lands, and that now or in the future, or even in the past, anybody who has acquired lands within these places, the Achimota Forest and the Ramsar site, uh, those lands will be investigated and they'll remain public lands according to EI uh, 144. He also goes on to say that the will, supposed will in question, is a matter of legal contestation, mm. which means that there are parties within the family or whoever are beneficiaries who are not too happy about the turn of events, so they have taken the matter to court. So that's essentially what it is. What seems missing is the fact that, yes, the ministry is confirming that they are not able to find any documents at the Lands Commission to prove that Sir John indeed owed lands at those places. But we all do know that Sir John, uh, in that will, if, if going by the face value of that will, uh, said that he jointly owns a land within the enclave of Achimota Forest, uh, DML company, with a certain Charles Owusu. So the Lands Commission went, goes to check for Sir John. Question, did they also check for Mr. Charles Owusu, mm -hmm. whether or not he owned it? Because he said he jointly owned that land with him. Number two, um, does this raise questions, for example, about people who also own lands within the space that right, allegations are rife that other government officials now and before have portions of land there? And the third issue then comes up, will these lands be captured in the 300 and, uh, you know, over 300 acres which has now become the subject of national conversation mm. between the government, the Owu family, and the public. Whether or not these lands, which has been captured in Sir John's will and others, would actually be part of the lands that the ministry hopes to give to the Owu family. Mm. So these are the key questions that are coming up, exactly. And another question too is, I mean, how can mm. you will something that you do not own? Exactly. So put something or putting something or nothing. Uh, I remember vividly the minister's press conference at 5 p.m. on that day when the issue of Achimota, uh, the Achimota Forest matter broke. And he had given indication that the Achimota Forest has not been sold. The Achimota Forest will be protected. Um, if you look at the quantum of acreage that is now uh, under consideration to be given to the Owu family, it, it takes about a quarter of the entire space mm. of the present-day Achimota Forest. So whether it be periphery or not, we're talking about floods, we're talking about global warming, we're talking about climate change, we're talking about a green agenda, which the ministry itself is championing, mm. looking forward to plant 20 million trees after planting uh, 5 million trees last year with 12 million Ghana cities. So now it means that we'll spend more to plant trees. But then if we allow for whatever to happen within the Achibata Forest, within the Ramsar site mm. uh, at the Sakumono area, it means that we may be shooting ourselves in the foot because of the green agenda that we want to push. And the entire world is looking at a certain green agenda. The experts have told us that cutting down trees and deforestation and losing part of our forest cover is largely to blame for I'm the kidding. problems that we have seen in Adabraka, Kanishi, Abosokai, and many other places due to the rain. One person has lost his life in Alajo. Mm -hmm. per last Saturday's rain. So these are critical concerns. And what, again, the ministry's uh, release was silent on was the fact that did the ministry also take the opportunity while inquiring into whether or not Sir John owns land in the Chibota Forest and the Ramses side, did they also go further to check which other government officials, which other public officials, which other private citizens own lands 
either in the Achimota Forest or the Sakumono Ramsar site. I think that would have settled the dust if the ministry had extended because, again, the ministry has the, the laxity, they have the resources, and they have the opportunity to delve deeper into it. But tell me quickly, quickly there's also a twist of the Lands Commission, mm. uh, which is supposed to be digitalized at this point, losing some documents in between when the ministry said they were going to investigate, inquire as to whether or not Sir John owns land, and then when the ministry writes the statement to say Sir John doesn't own land. Because yesterday, or even in between Saturday and mm -hmm. Monday, we were told how the Lands Commission in Accra had lost some document. But they, so they, that's they a, did indicate that they have backup of those it, documents. Well, yes, they didn't say that. And that's a question for the gods. Mm. So yes, the ministry wants to inquire. Before the results come out, documents are destroyed. It, it remains to be And seen. then the ministry says, well, there are no documents to prove that he had land. But one refreshing thing is that the ministry says all the lands that are purported to have been owned by Sir John mm. have been declared void which means he doesn't own any of those yeah. lands at all. I want to thank you so much for thank your time, Johnny Hughes, my colleague, breaking it down for us, the statements from the Lands Ministry there.